What is going on, people of the verse? This is Galactic Jack, and today I wanted to kind of touch on uh, mining. Now, this is not going to be a thorough guide on, you know, A to Z mining. Uh, not so much as it's going to just be a setup of how I like to uh, put together my mole and more specifically, how to get to the belt. The belt is a place where you can yeah, pretty much mine peacefully without the concern of, you know, pirates coming down your neck or even worse, marauders. Um, marauders, marauders are more of a issue than pirates are because pirates want money. Marauders just want to see you dead. So, you know, anyway, um, I'm going to show you my setup on my Argo mode. You can kind of take this and may maybe I'll make a prospector uh, video as well later. Um, Lancet MH2. Lancet, the reason I like Lancet, um, regardless of what I'm mining, is because it has a fine laser power distribution. Um, it's not so strong that it will risk breaking, uh, destabilizing a rock, but it's also not so weak. It's actually the weakest. <laughs> I believe it is the, le the weakest uh, mining head, but it's very good. Okay, it's very good. Um, so I like to put MH2s on all three mining heads, all of them. Okay. Um, once I do this, once I do this, you get, and this kind of confuses me sometimes, but for the most part, I, I get it right. There's three mining heads on the Argo mode. You have one right here, another one that side, and then right in front of you, you have this one. This ship, if you own this ship, you're, you would be well on your way to making a lot of money uh, in Star Citizen, even once the game releases, okay? Industrial ships are money-making ships, okay? Industrial ships make money, combat ships burn money, right? That's the way I see it, for the most part. So anyway, um, I like to hit... Let me make sure I have the right one first here. Is this the right one? Okay. I see that highlighting, so I'm going to assume that's it. If you look right here, you can see it kind of turning dark. Hopefully in the future, um, CIG brings in some quality of life improvements to us being able to differentiate between weapon placements and mining head placements. Because it's hard to tell, and they don't label it anywhere. Really. So anyway, this is going to, I think this is the uh, starboard side laser head. I'm going to put, on the starboard side, uh, I'm going to put... First, uh, surge. Then I'm going to put uh, a stampede. Then I'm going to put a brand. I'm going to explain what all three of those do right now. So, surge basically bursts. It gives you a, a massive heat burst to your rock and causes the rock to heat up to you know a rate that basically allows you to skip past the long process of heating that rock up. It's good in, you know, when you're trying to cut down your time, but it's also bad because if you don't burst it correctly, you can blow yourself up or blow the rock up or both, right? So that's what I use Surge for. Um, it's a must-have in all of my mining heads, all of them. Stampede. Stampede is what I like to call, well, it is a stampede. It basically um, expedites the heating, not the heating of the rock, but the process that you do that you uh break the rock in so i might go out in space and i'll show you an example of it but basically after you after you get the, the surge to the limit that you want it you get to the green zone this is when stampede comes in when you have it in the green zone you're gonna uh, go ahead and uh, activate your stampede and that's gonna cause that green zone limiter to to quickly uh fill up once it fills up the rat the rock will break Okay, the rock's gonna crack. So as long as you don't have your surge over the red limit and your stampede um, goes over the limiter that fills up that green bar, you're good to go. Okay. Brant. I you I don't always use Brant, but it's good to have just in case. And what Brant does is stabilizes your rock. Some rocks, especially quantanium, they tend to have a very uh shifty, uh unstable uh balance of heat it, it, you know one second it's up the next second it's down now i'll be honest with you i have not mined since 
3.13. I have not touched mining at all in 3.14. And the reason behind that is because, to be frankly honest, it's crap. Um, mining is complete and total garbage uh, in 3.14. I hope, like hell, that this doesn't go into 3.15. But um, yeah, 3.14 is garbage to me. Now, some people starting out might not see it, but if you were playing 3.12, 3.13, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. There's a lot of glitches. Um, use one, one um, expendable, one consumable, and try to use another one. It, it resets the entire rock. You can't see what you're doing. You forget what you don't see where your balance meter is. The rock can blow up and just stuff goes bad because of this glitch. I also really don't like the, um, scanning method. I don't, I'm not a fan of the new scanning method. I really am not, but, uh, I do enjoy mining. So we're going to give it a try again in 3.15 and hopefully, you know, everything's working. So anyway, Brant stabilizes the rock. It keeps it to a point where the meter is not hopping all over the place. Okay. New players, especially, um, look guys, this setup right here, I don't care if you're in an Argo mold or a, a, a Misk Prospector. This setup right here is a safe bet. Lancet, make sure you get MH1 if you are not, if you are in a Prospector, do not buy MH2. I repeat, if you are in a Prospector, do not buy MH2. It is not compatible. You would not be able to put it on. You would have wasted 10,000 UEC or however much it costs. Okay? Don't buy MH2 if you are in a prospector. If you're in a prospector, you want MH1. It's very important. I screwed this up when I first started and I regretted it. Okay? So, try to remember that. Don't do it. If you're in an Argo mole, it can use MH1 or MH2. I highly advise you get MH2 because it's a larger, um, a stronger laser, I believe. I believe. Don't quote me on that, though. But I'm pretty sure it is. So this is my setup for the uh, starboard side. For the middle midship area, um, I do the same thing. Surge. Stampede. And Brant. Right? Okay. Now... For the port side turret, it's a little bit different. You can do the same thing. Let me make sure. Okay, you can do the same thing, but I like to mix it up a little bit, and I'm going to tell you why. I like to do Surge, Surge, Stampede. And the reason I do this on a port side or starboard, it doesn't really matter, but the reason I do this um, on one arm is because some rocks are so massive and if you're a solo player in Argo mode now you know this might be an unpopular opinion but a lot of people think that the Argo mode is not so you, you can't solo it that's bullshit you can solo it you can run it you know run it solo you can do what you need to do in this I made a shit ton of money in 312 311 and 313 and before that too okay I made a shit ton of money in Argo mode by myself okay it's possible it's definitely possible so with, with this setup right here, Surge, Surge, Stampede, what I'm able to do is if I find a rock that's too massive for my laser to take, I hit it with two bursts of Surge. Now, you, you're, this is going to take some trial and error. Unless you're that damn good, you're not going to get it on your first try. Okay? It's going to take trial and error, but once you get it down pat, you're going to see how viable this setup is. Two hits of Surge. You hit it with Surge once. You let it come down to a, uh, you know, a moderate amount to where if you hit it again, it won't go into the overcharge, uh, red area. Then you hit it with another surge. When you do that on that second surge, you wait just a split second for it to come down right into that green zone, maybe even before. Okay. And then you hit it with that bad boy. You hit it with stampede, right? When you do this, that rock should break even by yourself. Okay. Naturally, you're going to want three players on this. If you have three players, perfect. Four players, even better. Okay, but you want at least three players. One on the left, one on the right. Well, one on the port side, one on the starboard side, and one in missions, right? And all three of your lasers on this huge rock, I, you know, like that, um, one person per head, will handle this easily. But if you're by yourself, if you're a solo player, you're going to need a setup like this, okay? You're going to need it. So that's my setup for those 
difficult rocks that I really don't want to pass up. Um, it used to be where you could look at the percentage and you, you know, automatically like 30%, 25% quantanium, whatever like that, you know, you want to, with the new scanning method, I haven't even really gave it time to, you know, look into it. So bear with me again. This is not a, a A to Z tutorial on how to mine. Um, when the next patch comes out and I see where they're at in mining, I'll probably give you guys that run. This is just a example of how I like to set up my laser heads and how to get to the Aaron, Aaron uh, halo belt. Okay. So now we got everything set up. We're going to go ahead and save that. And we're going to pull our mole. Very nice size ship. Um, a very useful ship that will make a crap ton of money. Uh, combat is fun. Combat is good. But, you know, the closer we get to the dangers of losing yourself, losing your equipment, and losing, you know, everything like that, the more you want to be very careful about how you tango, right? So it kind of makes sense to look at, you know, occupations that don't really put you in harm's way naturally. And don't get me wrong, you know, mining can be dangerous, especially if you don't know how to control that gun. But, uh, yeah. It's almost like an asthma. I, I really like uh, mining. Very beautiful ship, right? Very, very beautiful ship. And this is the part I was talking about in my last video. If you guys looked at it, um, I pro I, I, now that I look at it, I could be wrong, but I was hoping that that new uh, Argo ship, the Argo raft, was a a uh, refinery ship. These are saddlebags. These big black looking um bags right here they are saddlebags and this is where you hold all of your uh materials okay so you got your elevator right here for some reason you got to point at the bottom of the saddlebag to get it up or down and um we're gonna take off to the belt we are gonna take off to the belt Crap, I did not change any of the components out. That's another thing. The two most important things I would say you need to retrofit your ship with or upgrade to is your quantum drive and probably shield. So look, they brought the table back. This table has been gone for a while. It's been gone for a good while. So this is like midships. This is where they do all of the uh, crunching of rocks. Anyway, it's not really a walk around. It's just a hopefully quick tutorial on how to get to that belt. That's what we're going to do. Okie dokie. So, so we are, oh man, we're way at M1. So look, this is the belt from, you know, what you see anyway. This is the belt. And I think I did this in another video, but I wanted to kind of cut it out to the specifics right here. The real belt is right, excuse me, right here. Okay. Not here, not on this line, the, um, not on this trajectory, but it's behind, uh, Crusader. Okay. It's right behind Crusader, like right here. Okay. So they uh, look at that. They set it right here and the, the, the devs need to kind of fix that and pull it up a little bit because it confuses a lot of players. And I'm going to show you a lot of people say, oh, you know, you can start from start from Arco, start from Arco L1 and, uh, you know, go to Hurst and da da da, da 9,000, 9 million meters, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to do that. You don't even need numbers. You just need your reference point. OK, I am going to hit the belt from where I'm at. And I'm going to stop right about eh, here, right about here. I'm almost positive. I guarantee you, if I stop right here, I'm going to run into that belt. So we're going to give it a go. We're just going to go straight for L4. 
We're gonna make it happen. Again, you don't have to necessarily look at, you know, the numbers. And new players, I highly advise that you straddle. Like, you don't go in a straight line. Never go in a straight line to the belt, okay? If you know that you want to go into the belt, you need to hit up, say, RKL4 to get yourself off course. And then pick another place, okay? Pick another place. So, bam, you know, like, boom, boom, right? Boom. Stop anywhere between here, then, you know, crew L5 and hit the belt from a different angle. You never want to go to the belt from, the, from a direct, like I'm doing right now. You never want to do this, okay? Because if you do this and there are pirates or marauders around, they can easily track you. It's bad enough that on your way in is the most dangerous, you know, moment, but um, you don't want to have them follow you out there, okay? So uh, be smart. Think about what you're doing and how you're doing it, and make sure you're dotting your I's and crossing your T's. So we got a little bit longer to go, and like I said, we're gonna stop somewhere about here, and we should hit the belt. I might need to go a little bit further in, or I might actually have to turn around and go back, but for me, this allows me to get to the belt from any angle, any position. I can get to the belt from here, 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 any one of these places, it does not matter where you're at, okay? It does not at all matter where you're at. So, yeah, I'm gonna let this um, push. I probably should have put a faster quantum drive on it. It's imperative that you put a faster quantum drive on it. And the reason I say that is because if you're um, hunting for quantanium, time is of essence. Time is not on your side. The second that you pick up a bit of quantanium, your time is counting down, okay? The second that you scoop up Quantanium. Now, something I did learn, and I don't know if they'll change this or if it was a bug, I don't think so. Something I did learn because I push it to the limit. When I say I push it to the limit, sometimes I have seconds before it's about to blow when I touch down, okay? Um, when you pick up Quantanium and you go to pick up more, it's, it tends to give you more time. I don't know why, but it gives you more time. So if you're scooping up a crap ton of Quantanium, you'll look and you'll notice that your time is actually being pushed to the right and you're getting more time on your side. So it's all about that setup. Break your rocks, break them down good, and then start picking up. Never break one rock, pick up, break another rock, pick up. Don't do that. Break them, break them fast, and start scooping up in the order that you broke them. Always. So we're almost here. Almost. Almost looks like I'm not moving, right? Hey. Okay. Like I said, we're going to stop it somewhere around right here. We got a good ways to go. You would think that you would stop it right now, right? No. You don't want to stop it right now because, look, I'll show you. Now, we should be in the belt if we go off of this visual representation, right? But look, I'm not in the belt, okay? I am not in the belt, not a rock in sight. So, again, you can't judge off of that. You have to judge off of the invisible marker if you really want to uh, find your uh, find your position. We're going to wait for this to cool down. We're going to jump. I apologize for putting you guys right in the sun like that, but uh, such is life in the burst. And we're good to go, hopefully. Finish this jump. And give it another. 40 seconds or so and we should be in the green remember this entire zone right here right behind Crusader okay right on its rotation um, 
area. Okay, we're almost there. Almost, almost. We're gonna try to stop it here and see what we hit. And we did not get it. We are not close enough. That's what that means. So we gotta let it cool down again. Let's do this. And that won't work. I'm just screwed with it. Probably have less than 10 seconds of jump to get to where we need to go. Less than 10 seconds. Matter of fact, we should be there right now. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. Stop there. Boom. And this is not even the deepest section, okay? This is not even the densest uh, area but it'll do. So, like I said, I'll pull back up this map so you can see what I'm talking about. Right here, that area, in a little bit deeper if you want, this entire area is your green zone for uh, space mining in the belt, okay? This is your green zone, all right? Now, uh, you gotta turn it on with V to scan. that and we're just going to leave it like this yeah it's a it's a mining in 3.14 and 5 man I, it's it's just been bad it's it's been bad it's been horrific you know i I'm, I've not been pleased. It's almost like... <laughs> Where did that go? Okay, here we go. It's almost like... Um, they replace one game loop with another just for the sake of replacing it. That's really what it feels like. Because uh, hauling has been shit for a good while now. A long time now you know at least six seven months and um, the fact that mining is now taking a dump because of their setup and hauling is back you can't help but feel like you know what, what the hell is going on let's fix the speed limiter okay You can't help but feel, you know, a bit taken aback. All right, slow it down, baby boy. Another thing, it's very easy to run into rocks in space. You you don't know how fast you're going until it's too late. So what do we have here? I don't care if it's Quantano or not. I'm just going to... So we got some Laranite, okay? Decent amount, actually. And I'm going to show you really quick uh, how we mine, okay? I'm also going to give you a... Uh, a uh, guide on how to maneuver through this ship quickly. So we want to get a little bit close. We want to get at least uh, I'd say 80 meters out. Closer if you can safely. And the setup is very important. Like right now I have this um, this the center console right here, my map it needs to be brought up. It needs to be brought up to roughly right here. Roughly here, okay? Maybe a little further down. Um and this is why I use the sidearms because it's easier to uh, get around that without making the mistake. But right about here should be the sweet spot. Okay. Just remember, as soon as you clear it up a little bit more and stop. Okay. And that should give you enough space to get to that rock. Now, yes, in space, sometimes the rocks, they like to blow up in the worst way. And that sucks, but you know, you, if you have to maneuver, you just have to do that. To get down these steps, you don't have to, you know, go down like an old 
uh, slow person. You just pop down, right? Boom. That's it. Now, in the next patch, <laughs> in 3.15, that might screw you over. You might break a leg or something, but uh, you should be able to treat yourself, right? So we're going to get in this turret first. This is the uh, front turret. Mining turret. And we're going to check our range as soon as we cut it on. Okay, we're going to check our range. This range is not good. That means I went up way too high, right? But not a problem. Not a problem. We're going to leave it here and I'm going to show you something. So right here, if you look at the charge level, where it says optimal right here, as soon as it gets right there, that's when you're in a good zone and you want to fill this optimal area to the max. You never want to get to the overcharge zone. When you get to the overcharge zone, the rock becomes very unstable. Okay, so we have Stampede, Surge, and uh, wow, look at that. So as you see, I put it on the wrong um, laser head, but it definitely highlighted the starboard head. I don't know why it's on the middle. I have no idea why I went to the middle and get the uh, starboard side laser beam is, is highlighted. Anyway, we're going to work with what we got. So, I can hit this with one surge and I should be fine, okay? Control, and then number one, two, or whichever one. You bring that bad boy down so you don't go into the overcharge mode. When everything works fine, I love this game loop. I love mine. I love it so much that I actually got a uh, Orion. So yeah, you know that's the capital ship for mine. I absolutely love mine. It's it's peaceful. It's relaxed. So once you break it the first time, you're gonna need to break it again. The way that I broke that rock was perfect. You know you broke it good when it doesn't go out too too far. If you if you're overcharging it, expect your rocks to fly everywhere. Expect it to, to fly all over the down place. So inert, you don't want it. What's this one? See how long it's taking to load this? Usually does not take that long. This is 23% Laranite, 76% uh, inert. We can afford to be picky, but eh, if I was in a prospector, I'd probably avoid this. If I was in a prospector, I would avoid this. But in the Argo mold, it has so much damn cargo capacity that it really doesn't matter, right? Um, if you're frugal and you want to get the best of the best, then yeah, definitely skip that. Laranite, that's what you're looking for. So we're going to hit this one time. It looks like they've actually made a few fixes because uh, it, did, it went off, but then it came back on. So these smaller rocks, they don't take as long to heat up, right? Want him to stay in that optimal zone, and we're gonna play with it. Giggity. Okay, you got some shifting, so you want to bring it down. Definitely don't want this rock to blow because that's a waste of laranite. Hopefully, it doesn't. Let's turn it down all the way. All right, so we got. Hopefully, that piece stays in my image. We're going to switch it to, damn it, too low. That piece is too low. So we're going to break this rock right here. What is this? This is 100% inert. We don't want any of that. What is this one? Tungsten, 100%. Pass. So really, there's only one sweet rock that we have here that um, we want, and that's this rock right here. So we're going to go ahead and pick up what we have right now. Pick up all of that sweet Laranite. Laranite is, uh, it pays, but it doesn't pay as much as Quantanium or other uh, minerals. But it does pay decent. It pays pretty damn good. Especially if you have a full load of it. I would definitely pick Quantanium any day, though. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up as well.
and it would kind of behoove you to put on, uh, I would say, if you can, if you have a uh, Banu uh, Defender or a similar, what is that? What is what is the other one called? The um, the dropship. The ones with those shields that have to be taken down before the ship takes damage. Those are very good to have for a ship like this. And the reason being, I can't get to that right now. So we're going to get out of this and we're going to go to the uh, port side arm. It's very good to have those shields because in the case of a mishap, you're protected. Those shields have to come down before you take on any type of uh, all damage, right? They have to come down. So that's good. That's really good. So if you have the money to get it, I, I advise you get it. Open sesame. Same thing with this elevator. Um, we'll see how it works. Elevator. We'll see how it works with this ladder next patch. I just jump down, man. I just walk backwards and boom, I'm down, right? So you're going to go through this door. Be very careful of accident. You don't want to accidentally open it. Fall out into space. Please don't fall out if you're on land because you just screwed yourself. Because if you're on a planet or the moon, you are not getting back in this ship. If this area doesn't cut on when you're in it, it's and you can't get in this in the uh, seat, it's because your legs are down. Make sure your legs, your landing gear is up before you attempt because yeah, they won't come down. Won't let you activate it unless that's fixed. Boom. So instead of having to try to maneuver the ship, I can pick it up from right here. 100% Laranite. This originally wasn't even going to be a mining, you know, uh, video. I just wanted to show you guys how I set up my my thing. But what the hell? I'm just gonna go ahead and do a few rocks and take it home. This is gonna blow. We're gonna purposely overcharge this just to get it out of the way, right? I hate how it keeps glitching back and forth like that. And that's gonna hurt a little bit, but not bad, right? It's gonna hurt a little bit, eh, but you're in an Argo mode, you can take the hit. So there's nothing left, nothing left. All right, let's see what this is. And yeah, we'll skip it. Not enough Laranite for me to care about picking up. So we're gonna find maybe another rock or two. And I hope you guys get something from this, um, especially new players, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really all about it because the seasoned players, you guys know the game, you know what's going on, you, you know the deal. But the new blood that we have coming in here, we gotta hook them up, we gotta help them out, and we gotta show them the ropes, you know? We have to do that. It's, it's, that's our job, right? So, I do this for you guys. The guys that have finally decided to, you know, step over and give Star Citizen a try. It's not the best project, you know, this is an alpha game. There will be bugs, there will be issues. If you can keep that in your mind, you will have a blast in Star Citizen. But you must remember that. The second that you forget that you're not playing a, a game that you picked up from GameStop, that's the second that you fucked up, right? And that's just the truth. The second that you forget you're not playing a real release game, it's the second that you fucked up and you're setting yourself up for, for disappointment. So, we gotta do a little bit more scanning. I really like the, the old scanning um, better than this new stuff. Do definitely. Let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. Actually, I don't even really need to have that portion on. I can just scan like that. Okay, what do we have? Huh. And like I said, it's very peaceful here. The chances of you coming across somebody are very few and far in between. Very few and far in between. Sadly, sometimes the chances of you coming across somebody is very similar to the chances of you coming across a, a good rock also. So if you really don't want to deal with people and you don't mind the wait times, um, sometimes you luck up. You know, I'll, I'll say that. Sometimes you can luck up and you, you'll find a good rock, you know, but 
there are there are moons um, that you can go to that definitely are juiced, but in those moons will also be pirates, will also be marauders. Okay, I like to say marauders instead of griefers because if you look up the definition, you'll see that griefers and marauders are pretty much one and the same. Okay, pirates run a business. Griefers, aka marauders, they just like to cause hell. Okay, big difference. And while we're on that subject, let's slow down before I fuck myself up. While I'm on that subject, um, <laughs> as the game continues to grow, you're going to see a very weird downslide in who pokes the chest out and calls themselves pirates. I said this before and I mean it. Okay? Everybody is not cut out to be a pirate. We had something close there, but we're going to go for this because it might be quantitative. Everybody can't be a pirate. Everybody's not smart enough to be a good pirate. Some people call themselves pirates and really they're just marauders, okay? Seriously. And I guarantee you when it, when push comes to shove, there will be pirates hunting down marauders just as quick as bounty hunters hunters are hunting down marauders. I guarantee you. Why? Because nobody likes their food messed with. Okay? Nobody likes their food touched. And... If marauders are coming through a system or an area scaring away the merchants and merchants, including NPCs, stop coming through there, they have success successfully taken food. Uh oh, we're coming in too fast. Pull up. There we go. Let's see what we got here. If they're taking food from the pirate's mouth, those pirates, you know, will come for them. I guarantee you. And they'll be running running them out of their system just as quick as a, as a uh, bounty hunter. So we're trying to scan right now. We're going to see what this is. I don't see any red coming off of it. So what do we have here? Quantanium, 3,000%. Not a lot. Not a lot, but worth the... Uh, <sighs> it's not worth it. To me, it's not worth it. But for the sake of the video... No, it's not worth it. It really isn't, man. Um, but for the sake of the video, we're going to do it. All right, and we're going to try to set ourselves up the proper way again. 4,931 mass. That's a good mass. We went up too high last time, so we're not going to do that as much. We're going to go to right about there. Okay, we're going to try right there. I'm probably going to jump in another uh, mining mining uh, head anyway because I need that brand. Quantan Quantanium is a very finicky fickle uh, mineral. The stuff will blow up in a heartbeat. Can I have my door open? Please. Alright, so we're going to go ahead we're going to hop in the starboard side hatch. Going to get ourselves a little bit of Quantanium. Try not to blow ourselves up. I'm pretty good at this, though, even though it's been over a month since I've really mined. I, literally, this is the first time I've been in the Argo in over a month, you know, a month and a half, maybe more. So, um, yeah, let's see how we do. Okay, we got Surge, Brant, Stampede. Got all the good stuff. 12% Quantanum. That's shit, okay? That's shit. You want at least... I'd say 30%, more if you can, okay? I might try to press my luck, but again, it's been so long. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna hit it with the laser. Full tilt, because why not? We're gonna hit the left alt button, and we're gonna press number three, where, well, actually number one, where it says stampede, right? Surge, I apologize. And that's gonna push us up to the, uh, very close to the uh, optimal zone. Then we're gonna hit it with some stampede once it uh, gets a bit higher. Keep it in full tilt. We'll hit it with stampede once it crosses over and we'll back it down just a tad. Because like I said, it's very finicky. We're gonna hit it with stampede. You see what it just did? This is why I have not mined. I can't even see my limiter when I use my materials. And I'm gonna have to cut that out and send it to uh, CIG so they know what the hell is going on. 
And because I couldn't see, it jacked me up. But we're going to try to keep this rock intact. We're going to try. Alright. So we have... Let's just go for the good stuff. Well, what 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 good stuff there there is? <sighs> or is uh, that's probably our best rock right there? I guarantee it. Crap! In hurt. Got a little in here takes forever nothing so again that's our best rock right there we're gonna go ahead and hit it it's not gonna take a lot and sadly I'm too low what the fuck this is the the curse but I mean it, it doesn't bother me that much not as much as you know it bothers some players you know I just adjust it's really all I have to do right get out if I had another player with me they would adjust but since I'm solo, you know, I just get out of my seat, adjust, and hop in the front one to finish cleaning up. I don't even need to hit this with Stampede. We're just going to let it truck on over. But for the sake of the video, we will. Sometimes Stampede will destabilize your... Uh... Okay, we're going to give it a little bit more juice. Oh, too much, too much, too much, son. Too much. Can I get my meter back? <sighs> oh my gosh. So now you're seeing and you're experiencing why I don't mine anymore. This is why. Absolutely no reason why I should be doing that. No reason at all. No reason at all. And I just flick it off with the right mouse button just to uh, get it back under control. Got a little shift in this here, so actually Brent might be a good idea. We're just going to keep it right there and we're going to keep it running. Should tank it across easily, no problem. Voila! Got a broke rock. And I was almost able to catch that one on the top. Almost. I probably actually could have did it. Let's see. How the hell not? Let's just let's get these two first and then we'll go for that last one that keeps floating up. This is by no means a good payout. Um I'm not doing this for payout, I'm just doing it for reference for the new players that uh are somewhat interested in mining. You see how it keeps highlighting? So we're gonna see what we work with. <laughs> it's pull it up, but it's not gonna be able to get it right. Okay, so we're going to hop out of here and we're going to have to pivot up just ever so slightly. You want to be careful about getting out of this seat because um, there are bugs and you could think that you're getting out, out of the seat and standing there, but in fact, you're actually walking forward and you walk right out. Now again, in space that doesn't matter too much, but if you're uh, mining on a moon or on a planet, wait, on a uh, planet, yeah, if you're by yourself, you're going to find that that is a big mistake. So it was too high up. We're going to pivot this bad boy just a little bit, right there, should be enough, shouldn't need much, pop back out, we're already on the timer, but whatever. Let's take this one, see if we can get it from right here, right? Mm. 
you'll notice sometimes when you go up this ladder right here that it's looking at, um, <laughs> it'll drop you down. It, it usually will only do it if you're full on Quantanium because, you know, the server gods, you did not give them anything, so they don't like that. If you're empty or you got shit materials that you're mining, you'll be able to go about your shit very easily. But if you have the good stuff, I believe there will be roadblocks. Okay, I like to just go over everything one more time just in case I missed something. I really wish that, um, think of this, like I said, just in case I missed something. I really wish that, um, when you look at the rock, it will save your scan and you don't have to go over it again. Really wish they did that. So we're going to hit this bad boy up and we're going to hit it with a stampede so we're not wasting time. Of course, it does this to me. So I gotta guesstimate where I'm at and what I'm doing. And hope like hell I don't blow myself. Alright. Let's pick up quickly. Because we're gonna have missing rocks. Is this even... Got it. Let's see if we can get to 10 quantum at least. Still a laughable amount compared to how much we actually can haul. Come on, girl. So you see, we start with about 14, 15 minutes, and we are already down to 11 minutes. Let's see if it changes when I pick this up though. Probably won't because it's not enough. Okay, we got another one that's right behind the box. So we're gonna blow this bad boy out. Come on. Like I said, mining right now, man, it's, it's rough. It's rough. You're better off bounty hunting and falling. Oh, that hurt too much! And it flipped me back around, I would love that. <laughs> so yeah, that <laughs> that could happen. That could happen. Um That blew up like it had Quantanium in it. It should not have caused that much of a uh a um explosion, but you saw it firsthand. If you were in a prospector, you probably would be dead. Alright. Don't don't attempt that in a prospector. You don't have the weight, all right? You don't have the weight. Don't do that in a prospector. Blow it up, but blow it up uh, the right way, okay? I repeat, blow it up the right way, man. Because if you do that, let me guess, my piece that I need is right here. Let's see what we got. We're gonna let it push uh, as far as time is concerned anyway, whatever. And this is another um, portion of the problem that, again, has ran me away from mining. I can't scan again. So we got to play this the pretty much the old fashioned way. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to play this the old fashioned way and hop out and just pick up whatever, because <clears throat> it's like, I don't know. I, I swear, man. These kind of mishaps really boggle my mind, man. It really throws me for a loop because, like I said, it's like no two game, no three game loops can work in tandem. There's always, there always seems to have to be one problem. And then this is a, another thing. Look how the, the window, it really blurs up fast. Not so much of a big problem, but it still sucks, right? Okay, so that's Boris. It's not what we're looking for. I'm guessing it's this little piece right here. Today. Okay, that's 38%, almost 39% Quantanium. I'll take it. What's this piece? 
and another thing that I like to do, if you look right here, the way I'm looking at this right here in this area, I like to bring it. This probably won't last, but I like to bring because it it's almost like an x-ray. You can't see it when you're looking like this, but there very well could have been a rock behind that rock. And if you do like this, you can actually see behind that rock. Why? I have no idea, but I'll take it. So we're going to make our way back to the station with this measly amount of quantanium and theranite. Usually, if I'm really busting my butt and I'm out here on the uh, drift, I don't go, I don't come back unless I have at least 40-50%. I have gone, the most I've ever hauled in Argo Mode solo was about 94%. And believe it or not, that was damn near full on Quantanum. I hit a good lick, damn good lick. I was very happy with myself. So we're gonna go ahead and um, take it back to, we could go to ML1, that's the closest place. Uh, let's just go to Arkel. Let's let's try our luck. Why not? For the sake of the video, right? For the sake of the video, we are going to try to press our luck and see if we can make it to Arkel One in enough time to get this damn thing delivered. That's what we're going to try to do. Hopefully, hopefully the uh, alarm doesn't cut on. As soon as I start to jump, this button right here, volatile cargo, when that thing lights up, that's when you're on a, I think you have seven minutes, five to seven minutes, we'll call it that. Um, when that is happening, you can press this button. It's going to go from yellow when you have seven to five minutes to red when you have roughly one to two minutes, okay? You can press that and tap this button and it will drop everything that you have. I have done this before and I'm glad I did and I'm glad that this exists. Reason why is because I picked up, you know, I settled with a uh, an amount of Fontanium and then as I was getting ready to head out and I was looking one more time, I found a massive payload of Fontanium and I mean massive. So I said, F it, I'm dropping what I have and I'm picking this up because it was triple the amount, right? So the prospector has the same thing, I believe. Um, you can use both. So we're gonna try to see if we can make it. See if we can make it back. The things that we used to do in 3.14 and, and below, you would no longer be able to do in 3.15 and beyond. And that thing I'm talking about is a little trick that a lot of us players miners did was as soon as we landed as soon as we touched down we would bite the bullet what i mean by bite the bullet backspace out that would drop us down right there on the on the mark right that would drop us down um as soon as you do that you backspace and you would appear inside of the facility and they would go ahead and recover your cargo asap makes everything faster you don't want to do that anymore because if you do it now, you, you're you going to regret it. You know, you're going to regret it and you're going to pay the price because all of your shit that you had on you is going to be gone. But I don't know. Maybe the ship will still be there. We'll have to see in 3115. Maybe. So I think we're good. Um, the light isn't on yet. Matter of fact, while we're, well, we can't do that and jump. I'm guessing that light is gonna come on when we hit. Goodness, man, we got a while to go. I don't know about this. I think I might have bit uh, a bit off more than I could shoot. That light's about to come on at least. At there it is. There it is. So let's see where we're at and let's see what we can do. What is this? Her L1. Let's stop her L1. Let's stop there. Okay. Let's stop at her L1 because we definitely will not make it to a arc L1. Come on, baby. No use in um <laughs> putting putting it on autopilot because yeah. See, this is the price of having a ship 
quantum drive. You want to have the XL1 in this bad boy at least. Well, at the best, that's the best one, period. So you want to have the XL1 in here. Um, you don't want to do stock quantum. You don't want to do stock quantum at all if you're a miner. You want the fastest quantum drive you can come across in the doggone verse. Okay? Don't step out trying to hunt quantanium with a stock quantum drive. You're going to regret it. Alright. Don't fail me now. <laughs> I got a feeling this is going to play out pretty crazy once uh, we drop out of jump. Let's go see how much time we have left. Hopefully we don't get sucked out of uh, the jump by doing this. If we have five minutes left, we're good to go. If we have three minutes left, we're pressing our luck. We have five minutes and 20 seconds left. We are good to go. We'll make it. We're good to go. Anything under two minutes though, one minute. Sometimes the quantanium tends to degrade. And if it does that, uh, yeah, it sucks to be you. Um, what I mean by degrade is it will actually deteriorate. You you will have 40% quantanium, and by the time you get there, you have zero. Okay? I've seen that happen. Why that happens, I don't know. I would think that it would be blowing up and not just deteriorating, but whatever. So, this is the hard part for multiple reasons. This is the part where you pinch your butt. Your butt cheeks, you know? You got a full load of quant, you know, that's a lot of money, man. We're looking at hundreds of thousands, right? And we're trying to get there. We're trying to get there as fast as we can. At this rate, by the time it cools down, we're gonna be too close. And we're probably too close right now. Okay, so we're gonna cut off, cut off autopilot bring it down a little bit the reason you want to do that is because this ship will not stop as uh it won't stop like other ships let's put all power to energy so that we can stop the bad boy okay that won't work either so we're gonna have to turn around i could have uncoupled but i forgot the control for it i used the sticks but it's not good and we're gonna have to flip and burn Holy hell. Lower, 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 lower. Come on, baby. Okay. <laughs> That's how Galactic Jack gambles. What am I doing? That is how Galactic Jack gambles. Alright, let's call him in. Hope that we don't have any issues. And let's take it home. We are probably at about three minutes right now. Another thing that you can do that might still work, set it down anywhere that you can, be it a hangar bay or a, uh, a vacant uh, area. With the vacant area, they give you a 20 second countdown. And believe it or not, sometimes it takes uh, shorter to get it taken away from you than it does uh, trying to stop it put it down and uh, okay oh ho 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 set it down nice and slow you don't want to set this down quickly okay that's good enough fair enough turn it off pop out Stay. And we want to get out of dodge ASAP. Now you got one more step that you must take. I'm gonna show you a quick, quick little thing right, right here that I like to do. Instead of going down the slow as elevator, fuck it, just hop.
hop out because it takes that elevator forever. Just jump the hell out, right? And run like hell. Right? Who cares about pretty uh set downs and pretty landings? When you got a full load of quantanium, that's the only important thing. So, come on, let's go. You got a full load of quantanium, that's all you got on your mind. Trying to get that thing situated before it blows. Again, this wasn't a good load. It was never meant to be a, a, a awesome haul. I just wanted to kind of show you guys um, a glimpse into mining from my perspective and why I don't do it anymore. But we'll see. 3.15 might be better, man, because I do miss doing it. That was my true bread and bread and butter, even more than hauling at one point. All right. And we're going to find our Argo Mole. Where's my Argo Mole? Where's my Argo Mole? Missed it. And we're going to store her. Store. Okay. Now we're going to go upstairs and make sure there was no... Wow. Anyway, we're going to go upstairs. Her L1. So this is kind of a different place. Huh, where's the elevators for her L1? Okay, there are. Okay. We are going to go to the refinery. By the way, um, another thing I didn't mention, I apologize. Um, all, all L1 stations have refineries. Only L1 stations have refineries. You won't find refineries at any other station. It has to be an L1 facility, okay? Keep that in mind on your escapades. If you're hauling anything and everything except for Quantanium, disregard it. doesn't matter where you're at. You can haul as, as much as you want. You can haul and, you know, uh, mine as calm as you like. There's no rush, you know? The only thing that has, as of right now, the only thing that has a volatile limit on it is spontaneous. So if you're doing Laranite, Bexalite, um, and all of those other ones, gold or whatever else, um, don't worry about it. You know, take your time, enjoy the drift, and, you know, chill. I advise you look at only Bexalite and Laranite and nothing else, to be brutally honest, though, because... Nothing else really pays for the time spent. What's up, partner? Nothing else pays for the time that you spent doing it. Nothing. Montanium, Bexalite, Laranite, those are, are the three hey, back again, I see. top uh, ones in order. Now, yes, I'm not going to the right console. I just want to show you guys. Sometimes you can actually come here and sell it all. Unrefined material value is 82409 okay? Now, I was bullshitting that entire time, and I barely even filled up my mole. Imagine if I did fill it up. Imagine if I filled it 70%. How much do you think that would be? And this is the unrefined value. The refined value is going to definitely go above 100, okay? So you come over here to the correct console, because you don't want to go to that one over there. You're going to start a work order. You're going to pick your ship, Argo Mole, and that gray is inert. The green is the good stuff. I'm gonna set up work order. Okay, this part, new people, new prospects to mining. Look at this, it's very imperative, it's important, okay? You want to pick the method, all right? I advise you use, I believe it's Dinks. Very low speed, low cost, high yield. It's very slow. This is going to take days to accomplish. All right. But that's okay. You hit it. Go back to the drift. Go back to the belt. Go back to a moon and you mine more. Bring it back. Who cares about the time? So, uh, Dink's method is the cheapest method, right? I believe another method that I actually like to use sometimes is, uh, let's see what this one is. Low speed, low cost, moderate yield. No, 
That's a waste. Ah, it's one of these other two. I think it's Cormac, actually. High speed, moderate, no. Definitely ain't that. Which one was it? Maybe Pharaoh? Yes. Low speed, moderate car. No, that's a waste. It's one that's moderate speed or high speed. Okay, this might be it. Maybe Gaskin, if you want. If you're really pushing it, then do Gaskin. But everybody else, look, do Dinks. Apply Dinks, okay? Um, you don't have to pick everything, but make sure you pick the good stuff. Meaning, Quantanium, Laronite. Now, I can put Boris in there and it'll add to the time, you know? But you don't have to. You can turn these off and skip out on even, you know, getting that. But why? You know, just collect your money, man. So... If another thing, if you would have done this at the other console, you can actually sell inert materials. They will buy it. They will buy it. But you're going to take a, a loss overall, you know, versus if you come here and do the dinks method. So we're going to get a quote. It's going to take two days, 4,528 UEC. Okay. That's what we're looking at. The amount that we're going to get is going to overshadow this little amount that you spent right now. You're, I'm looking at a minimum of 100,000, okay? Possibly more. Now, right now, again, this is a shit pickup. In my, to my standards, this is shit. It was only to give you an example of how mining is and what to look forward to in 3.5, okay? I want my green all the way up to here at minimum, right here. I like it to be right here or better, okay? Doesn't all have to be quantanium, but along the way, I tend to sometimes pick up Bexlite or Laronite. Just to you know, give myself a, and then just to give myself a um, a bumper. Let's do that again quickly, and let's go ahead and set the work order. Okay, we're gonna pick dinks. We're gonna go ahead and highlight everything, and we're gonna send it. Four thousand five hundred twenty-eight. Confirm. Boom. And there we are. Now in the other patches, there's a way that you could um. I'm going to keep this short, but uh, there's a way that you could do the system. And that way I don't think works anymore, but if it does, I'm sure you'll find out how. We're going to stick to doing it the clean way okay, for right now, and we're going to leave it at that. So, that is Mining with Galactic Jack. In a nutshell, hopefully the video is not too long. Hopefully you new guys learned something, and it made you uh, decide... Hey there, guy. It helped you decide on what occupation you'd like to um, run in Star Citizen come 3.5. No better time than the present to practice this if you're very new. Give a person a shout out. Um, seriously, give a person a shout out in open chat. You know, offer your hand as a deck hand, as a mining hand, and, you know, for a percentage of the pay cut. Um, if the person's good, they'll probably pay you a bit up front and pay you the rest once they get it in the refinery. Um, that's something that you'll have to square away with them, though, personally. But look, there's a lot of work, you know, a lot of um, game loops that you can jump into, even if you only even if you have an Aurora or a uh, Mustang Alpha. You know, there's plenty of work to find. So you don't have to go it alone. You don't have to do it by yourself. You don't have to find out the hard way how to do this, how to do that. Simply get into open chat and write somebody, you know, F12 it, talk to them and see if you can get under somebody's wing to show you the ropes. I did learn everything on my own, but that's just me. That's how I am. Um, but there are plenty of people, plenty of people, including myself, that would love to um, show you guys the rope, man. So if you're interested, I have an Argo Mole. I have multiple prospectors. and Well, I have one more prospector once the wipe happens. And um, if everything's looking up, I will jump into it. So if you want, if you need help, you know, go ahead and write down in the comment section and we'll pass our information. And, you know, I'll give you the hookup, man. You know, once 3.5 jumps, I will be in my Argo. So if you need somebody to run with, if you want to get, you know, on a fast track to making credit so you can get to where you're wanting to go by all means write me in the comment section send your um your handle your your uh your handle and that's your gamer tag and um 
I'll be in touch with you, you know. So, again, this has been Galactic Jack, a rough introduction <laughs> to mining. And I will see you guys in a verse. Peace.